Welcome to tonight's Survivor Recap. Hey, we gotta give a shout out to White Caribou. Happy birthday, girl. Yeah, happy birthday, Julia, too. Oh. Alright, so last time on Survivor, Debbie was voted off because she was trying to get rid of Coach. And you just don't do that. And Coach is feeling pretty confident now that he's gonna stay a while in the game because he thinks everybody's got his back. He's not your average dragon slayer. No. He's pretty smart. Dragon tails, dragon tails. <laughs> if it was dragon tails, he'd be Tetzel. <laughs> All right, so Coach, uh, his lungs are pretty messed up. He's like, yeah, at Tribal the other night, uh, I was breathing in all that smoke and blah, blah, blah. It was like smoking 20 cigars. My asthma is going to be kicking up, guys. I don't know if I could do the challenge. At first, I thought he was talking about that popcorn thing. <laughs> I inhaled popcorn, popcorn every day for 365 days in a row. So, yeah. He doesn't want to go to exile, and that was his excuse. Who the hell wants to go to exile? I know, but that was his pretty excuse. pretty messed up. Like, what the hell? Yeah, he's broken. All right, so it's time for the challenge. You've got to race through a survivor maze. Like, the literally. Letters. Survivor. That's right. Build a pole to grab a sandbag. Then, throw the sandbag on a rope against three targets, and after all three targets are hit, a the flag, flag will be raised in your honor. Nice. All right, and want to know what you're playing for? It's an overnight trip by private plane to the governor's retreat. Yeah. <laughs> and did we mention this whole challenge had to be done with your feet, Shaq? No. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's also going to be a bed, a shower, and a feast. So... <laughs> They really want this reward. It's probably the best reward of the entire season. So JT was f freaking blowing through this maze, and Coach was just following right behind yeah. him the whole time. because the maze apparently wasn't that easy to figure out, even though it looks super easy. It was people easy were getting JT. Into, yeah, people were getting, like, trapped in uh, dead ends and stuff, and mm -hmm. not JT. So Coach was, you know, tight on his heels, and then it was time to build the pole, and JT totally blasted through that, got his ropes untied first, Coach was still struggling with the ropes, yep. JT pulls it out and he wins the reward challenge. Yep, and he decided to send Coach to exile. Oh, Coach said no. <laughs> and he's got to take somebody on the trip with him. So who does he pick? His boyfriend, Steven. Oh, I was just going to say that. <laughs> yeah. So Erin calls out Coach. Right in front of everyone. She says that he's a martyr. <sighs> yeah, that's about right. Because, you know, Coach wants his exile to be just as miserable and more miserable than Erin's was. And she's right. pissed about that. Because she wants to be the drama queen. Mm -hmm. So he decides he's not going to eat. He's not going to sleep or something. He's not going to drink water. He's just going to meditate yeah. for the whole time. And, uh, yeah, that's the way Coach rolls. He's barely alive, too, and he's all, <laughs> Hit me with your best shot. Yeah, he totally, Fire away. He totally called Aaron Pat Benatar. Yeah. It was really weird. Um, yeah. <laughs> so when he's in exile, he's like, This is just like a vacation. <laughs> it didn't look like any vacation I that I'd want to go on. I my vacation like that. They showed him laying in the water, and he just looked dead. Yeah. Not a good idea to go without eating or drinking or sleeping for that long. Well, that goes along with referring to yourself in the third person, too. And let's not forget, he <laughs> prayed for Erin because she's totally hating on him. Yeah. He, he just wants to be able to deal with her. Please, God. Yeah, he wanted the ability to, like, forgive her or something. Uh-huh. All right, so enough about Coach. Ugh. Let's get to the reward. Private plane time! Woo! They must have to hose those things down after the rewards. They must get pretty manky. Mm -hmm. All right, so, wow. The shower itself, <laughs> I could just live in there. Yeah, and they got to see what they actually look like in a mirror. Scary! Ugh, mommy. <laughs> so, yeah, the feast was basically meat and more meat and more meat. Too much meat. They brought out all the meat first, and then they brought out the other stuff, but they had eaten so much meat that they pretty much couldn't eat anything else. Yeah. So, yeah, as we mentioned, Coach is a bag of bones. 
But he and wants he, that immunity. Yeah, he thinks he's going to win it. He really, he thinks that this toughening up of making himself into a old man is going to help him win immunity. He really did look a lot older. He looked at really the bad. So let's get to the immunity First challenge. of all, it took him half an hour to walk in from when they saw him. They Take were like, your time. <laughs> Coach is coming. Yep. Everybody was like. <sighs> and this is an endurance challenge. Yeah. So you got to brace yourself between two walls with these little pegs on each side for your feet. Mm -hmm. Your bare feet. Oh, my God. And every 15 <coughs> minutes, you got to move down a set of pegs because those pegs get thinner and thinner mm -hmm. and thinner. The last pair looked like nothing. Yeah, it was just a thin wafer. So after 30 minutes... They were down to the last pair of pegs. And at that point, it's just whoever can hold on the longest. Yeah, it didn't take long for the flies to drop after they moved to the last set of pegs. Well, so Aaron was out first, and then Steven, and then Taj, so it came down to JT and Coach. I'm surprised Steven wasn't out first. He's usually the first one out on these endurance things kind of weak mm. all right so coach uh he he hung in there for a he while fought till the end he was screaming at the end yeah. you know like god <laughs> yeah dragon slayer he was dragon screaming <laughs> don't do that all right so um jt wins immunity mm -hmm. who's the dragon slayer now coach coach i thought you were a warrior <laughs> coach fell down and collapsed he was having back spasms I thought he was dead at first, because he looked really weak, and, yeah. and Jeff was like, uh, you want to get the medic to look at that? And he was like, no. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Just uh, prop me up over there with my uh, gnarly piece of branch that I got from Exile. Yeah, he was toting that thing along the whole episode. <laughs> All, All right. right. Tribal Council! Yay! Who's going home? No. I don't know, but Erin totally called out Coach, and uh, she's going to have to pay for it. She said that he's a drama queen, but guess what? You, you are, are the too. drama queen. Coach wrote a poem. Oh, my God. Everybody fell asleep while Including Coach was me. reading it. <laughs> I was really tired. If I was wide awake, I would have fallen asleep. Because it was it really seemed... weird, though. I caught some snippets. Yeah, it went on for a while and, and was very difficult to understand. Yeah. So, by a vote of three to two, Dragon Slayer, rest in slain. peace. <laughs> slain. Go out and get yourself some Ben Gay for and crying start out loud. And eating and drinking and sleeping again. Yeah. What the hell? Oh my God, Sunday, can you believe it? We'll be wearing the crowns because it is the final Survivor finale. <laughs> it's the Survivor finale. And the finale. reunion. Oh, I love the reunion when everybody's like, I hate you, but now I don't. Yep. I can, I can see the light because we're not in the game anymore. Can I have some money? <laughs> the government will take at least 40%. All right. So until next time. Much, much love. love.